Hello, Aquaspore and I guess E-Tech fans out there. Well, got it all, well, not all together. Got the bottom end together. You can see all the pistons, rods, everything's in there. Cranks in, bearings are in. Uh, OMC BRP calls for a special tool to line up the, the uh, rod caps because these are a fractured rod cap. It's made in one piece. Let's see if I can show you. This is my old, own old one here. It's made in one piece. And then they come along with a press and they snap the bottom half off because this is hardened. So you get a. Let's see if this one. Yeah, see that one here is kind of crooked. You get it if you can see the seam. Let's see here. There's too much reflection on it. Oh, yeah, maybe you can see it there. See on the, on the right hand side there, the seam is actually not straight. <clears throat> but the idea is the rods actually go back together perfectly. Then they mill these, these ends are milled, three sides. And they sell a special tool. It's 500 bucks to line these things up because the the bolt holes are bigger uh, than the uh, the bolt, so the bolt doesn't line anything up. So if you have the 400 dollar tool, you can clamp it all together, put it together. Otherwise, you gotta line these things up, and that seam should, as you see there, just pretty much disappear. And what you want to do is get a sharp pencil or a, a pick, like a dental pick, like this, and slide it over it. And you should feel nothing. It shouldn't catch. Of course, these aren't torques. So I'm catching just a wee bit on there. That's how you, that's how you check that the rod caps are aligned. Then this inside would be perfect. <clears throat> well, I had this all together, and I had one rod cap that just wouldn't cooperate. And that was this dude, dude. These, this dude right here. These are all new rods, so they weren't been overheated or twisted. You can see there, the seam is virtually invisible on this side. You can't feel it, nothing. The other side kept giving me trouble where that, I don't know if you can see it or not, you know, it, it was good here, but the beveled edges was a little off. And I could feel an overhang. If I pulled up on this side, I could feel an overhang here. And if I went down on this side, I could feel an underhang. So the, the cap was skewed off this way. I mean, you're talking, I don't know, half a thousandth of an inch. It was super tiny. Took it all apart, made sure there's no dirt or stuff under there. Took it all apart, put it over here, off to the side, assembled it, and just kept wanting to twist over that way when I tightened it, because you, you torque these in, in uh, stages. Finally, I ended up actually putting in just this bolt here, purposely misaligning the cap this way, a few thousands or more, snugged it a little bit, stayed there, snugged it a little more, boop, and went lined up perfect. So I got happy, snugged it a little more, like 40 inch pounds, it stayed there, put the other bolt in, snugged it to the, the called four 40 inch pounds, checked it, stayed there. Then you torque it again, I think only 21 foot pounds, checked it, stayed perfect, and then went to the full torque of 60 pounds, and now it's absolutely perfect. You can't see this one because it's, you check it and you can see it doesn't catch. So now I'm real happy. Of course, I had to take this back apart, so I got to clean the gel seal back out for this side, but that's worth it. But you know what? I spent, sounds simple, I spent three hours on this one rod cap getting it perfect. <clears throat> the rest seemed to go together pretty easy, but everything churns real pretty, nice and smooth, no binding. So now I get to button it up and uh, start finishing putting back together the rest of the way. Thanks for watching. See you later.